What's good? What's good? It's your boy Reese here live. Live, live in Seattle on Don't Hurt Yourself TV. Music on us live. And I'm here with. It's your boy Marty Bates One. Live at the Swag International Magazine. First party, you know, we're getting it in. We're getting in, we're getting in. So, we always like to ask the artists, like, what was the first um, hip hop, you know, record that, that that you heard and you remember that never you know will leave your head uh, the very first hip-hop record I remember that will never leave my head it's uh, by Crafty and Mr. Benjamin right here behind us called okay. Two Down G's okay and if okay yeah. and if y'all don't know who that is it's the, that's that's the man right there yes sir Seattle music Okay. It's real. You All dig right. what I'm saying? <laughs> BJ and J Entertainment. Mm -hmm. So, who else? You, you, you said a couple of, like, you named a, a couple of others. I named two people. Two people? Crafty. Uh huh. Mr. Benjamin. All right, Mr. Benjamin. All right, so, do you remember the first time? Because me, you know, in the industry, there, it, it was a time when, like, yo, this. Yo, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? So, is there a moment in your life where you was like, "Yo, this is what the fuck I want to do for the rest of my life"? Do you remember that one? What like what made you feel that way? I don't remember the exact moment, but what made me feel that way is when I first heard myself recorded on a record, and I told myself, "I can do this. This this is the sound. I sound dope over it, and I know I can." take it to the next level all right so what you consider your style as my style i consider it as the northern flow northern flow the northern flow very unique style just being yourself and good ideas together and coming out with a good record and just from being from seattle it just makes it 10 times better because there's not really a lot of people from seattle that's made it out of here okay so um where would you think you would your music will fit like, cause it's different type. You got the, you got trap, you got, you know, it's a kind of, the music has changed. Right. So where you, where like, where you think you will fit in at? Like, personally, I feel like I fit all genres. And my music's so versatile. I might have a song that sounds like West Coast music, but then I might have a slow down song singing that might sound like something you might hear from down south somewhere. Okay, okay. That's how you be. Um, extra versatile. What about like beyond the box, like doing some some uh, some rock? I do or that too. I got that. You got that. You got you got. got in the arsenal. Don't say that, cause cause it's money looking for us. Money we looking for a, a money money. You know I rock. It, I call it rock pop. Rock pop. Rock pop. We going we going we gonna have to we gonna have to. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to that one, man. For real, cause if we we could create some. Rock pop? Rock pop. Yo, y'all heard it first, right? Here. Know that y'all heard it first right here on Don't Hurt Yourself TV, Music on Us Live, and Swag International Magazine, yo. Know. Rock pop is a mixture of, you might have a pop style beat with some rock elements intertwined into the instrumental. But I might be grungy or loud or yelling or just singing, just like a, like a pop star or a rock star, you know what I'm saying? Yo. But it's all originated. That's part of the Northern flow. Nice, nice. I'm, I'm, yo, I'm, I'm looking forward to having that to, to, to break that to help break that new, you know, that style of, you know, because that's what we do. So, if it was anybody, like besides, you know, the, the people that that you already know, is it who who would you like to work with out there? Out in the industry? Yeah. T Pain, where you at? You put one together quick. Right. Post Malone, where you at? Right. Lil Uzi, you know, this. Because they all different in their own way. Oh, that's cool. So, what, what else has you been doing? So, what else I've been doing? You know, I've been on tours. I've been on the North Best tour, Lil Mosey, beginning of this year. I opened up for Rob Dishes, a Shoreline Mafia down in California. I opened up for uh, X Rated down in Olympia. I have two videos currently, my two singles, called Bouncing and Scoring. They've been on BT Jams, currently still on there, Aaron. 
one video bouncing just hit 40,000 views on YouTube. Scorns right underneath this coming up. Two videos on there circulating right now called Bouncing and Scoring on BET Jams. Those are getting good airplay circulating all over the world. And I've been on uh, Power 105 up in New York talking to Wop.